post recording audio because I being the genius person I am forgot that I had turned my microphone off for some reason so yeah so in 1.1 which is a new update that came out sometime last week it added um snow I think I don't know I think it might have always snowed in um that kind of the evergreen forest biome but now there is snow and snow does accumulate there I don't think there was before so you can tell it's like snowing and raining in that place outside and the water's freezing and stuff so that's pretty cool all the snow thing that plant you can see it like growing over in the background so just some inventory management here I'm getting prepared to go outside and go light up the area um, whoops. I was originally planning to, what was it, go hunt for animals. This video over on the island that has, um, the trees. But I, since, since it was the weather and it's night right now in the video, I think, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, I decided to go explore the island. Ice skating right there. Okay, so I think I'm um, yeah I'm yeah. setting out to light up the island. It's very suspenseful and everything. Um, yeah, you can hear you can still hear the rain. I thought torches were supposed to melt snow, but apparently not. So it it's much more peaceful in there. I got really scared when I saw that because it's like. A weird shadow wolf, but I think it's just a uh, um, lighting glitch. Yeah, stealth dogs. You can see more throughout the trees. So I'm just lighting the place up. Okay. Yeah, this is this is real exciting here. Okay, so more stuff in 1.1. Snow in that kind of biome. Sheep regrow their wool, which would be useful if I ever found sheep. But since that is probably going to take a while, um, that can't be show, that can't be seen right now. And also, there's languages, which I don't demonstrate in this video because it wasn't made to show it off. But it's just something to talk about. So you can choose languages. I prefer pirate because it's awesome. Because it's pirate language and so why wouldn't you play in that language um you can also make like perfectly flat worlds that are three dirt blocks above bedrock and then bedrock is all flat that's better for creative mode but theoretically it would be possible to survive in survival uh, assuming that you weren't stupid and you could find enough towns because they'd be the only place to get um, any resources at all besides dirt. Some nice Minecraft music is starting, so I think I'll let you listen to that. Because I'm going to. And the rain is really annoying. See? The, the snow is so much more peaceful. And then I ran out of torches. That was really quick. This 16 isn't too many. And it just sort of cuts off and goes to that forest biome over there. I'm thinking of calling that place like the forest island. I'm not going to really call it a continent because I don't know how far back it goes. And then I'll think of some name for this forest. Take a shortcut across the lake on the ice. Woo, sliding on the ice. That is awesome. Back to my house, which I did improve. I pulled that area out and did some inventory management, you probably noticed that. Oh good, that, that thing's fully grown, so I can, I can replant. And in a little bit I'll be able to make some bread. So uh, here I'm expanding my farm by a whole two blocks. It is an incredible expansion. I think those might be close enough to water. I mean the water's right out there, they should be. But, yeah. So, so it should be close enough. Should be water to grow. 
Hopefully they are, because I mean, I really need to get a good farm going. I can probably build a different building for my farm. Yeah, and that, that is still really annoying. I'm thinking somewhere down the road, I'm going to convert that building to like my mine. And I'll mine down in it. Well, I've already ma mined down it. I'll just convert it so the building's only a mine. It's not just my house. And then, right here where I'm standing now, I'm going to build my house. A, or a large building that will act as a house and some other stuff. Because it'll be facing out into the uh, place. Uh, I'm getting the word bay sort of area. It'll be facing out, which will be cool. So I'm planning on building a large house there. Probably should build a second building somewhere else, or, yeah, second building somewhere else for a larger, more efficient farm. And then that building that I'm using for my base right now. Ooh, sunrise. And that field of yellow flowers. It's ridiculous. And so, th it has been night this entire time. And so, I was wondering why I hadn't seen any monsters. I think I... I think I figure it out here pretty soon. Uh, I'll explain it when the video gets there. So as you can probably tell I suck at post commentary. So hopefully this will be the last time I have to do it. I won't be such a gigantic derp that I forget to record it. Back to the peaceful snowy biome of snow. Lag is annoying. Like really annoying. I've also cut down on the time. Like this video should be significantly shorter because I do not want a super long video. A super long video. The Terraria one was ridiculous because it's just really long and the audio is just super loud. So that was a pretty bad one. But it was in HD, so that that's good. It's not like those people who have videos like that that are then like so blurry. You can't tell if that's a flying goldfish or like a person. So, yeah, that's that's good. I'll be playing more of that. I think I might be able to be playing with one of my friends. Like he he, I think he might be able to set up a server. Don't quote me on that. So we might be able to do that. Um, what else? I haven't I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, I probably should stop talking. Okay, so, yeah, I now have a supply of snow, and the bio. I think these, these biomes look a lot better. I think they're called, like, Tyaga or something. They look a lot better with snow because they just, they're, they're evergreen trees. They look like they should have snow. And that, that's the spot, I think, where I found the red mushroom and didn't starve to death. And, um, this is cool. I found that edge of the continent, so... I found three edges. I think it goes out a bit in the other direction. I'm looking for the cave. I am going to power to go in there because I don't want to die. Um, here's just another thing. Well, that's a ravine. I think that's that's two ravines. The one that's coming towards me and then that one down there. So that's cool. Ravines are great for finding diamonds and such because they'll be in the ground. There's just all sorts of rare minerals in the walls. Sometimes the floor. And lava. There's lots of lava in ravines. Lava and water pouring down. All sorts of various nasties make their home there. And my doctor really recommends that I don't get mauled by zombies. Because it could result in death. And that would be unhealthy for me. Or something like that. Just walking around on the ice a bit. Yeah. The rain... Green sounds just annoying. Those haven't grown yet. I keep falling in there. Okay, seeing how I don't remember where it is, and I don't remember when I find it. might have already happened. But the reason I don't find didn't find any monsters or haven't found any monsters so far is I was playing on peaceful. I know I changed back sometime. Okay, I might have already changed it back. I don't think so, though. And then, like, I get some extreme lag here. Yeah, see, I have no idea what's causing that. And it happens, like, both ways, both times I go down. 
I have no idea what's causing that. That was that was more than just like the fraps changing over of a video file. So yeah. Oh good, you can actually hear the game audio. Getting getting it balanced is like ridiculously hard. It makes me actually like appreciate more the people who do this a ton and are better at it than me because balancing the audio is ridiculous. And I forgot my shovel. I think it might lag going back up. I don't know if it does. I don't think so. Nope. I forgot my shovel, which is brilliant. I'm going to go down into the earth with my pick. And I'm not going to remember to my shovel. Shift everything over. Back down. Woohoo. Really long and effective stairway. Lag. What the heck. Hopefully that does not become like a constant thing. That will be really annoying Just every time I'm going down hey I'm gonna lag on you like a bunch water sounds there's water nearby oh yep see here so I was playing in creative mode on one of the flat worlds and these slimes are so annoying Just ridiculously annoying like why are there so many of them annoying? And I was trying to like clean up some towns I'd found and slimes kept spawning inside the thing and just like trampling all the crops and stuff. So eventually I just turned it to peaceful. And so along with turning on my microphone, I forgot that I had it on peaceful. So it's been a real day full of success for me. The, the water sound is being quite annoying. One I, one of those two is going to have to cave beneath it. I, I knew that, and I know I said that right then, that one of those two stone blocks was going to open directly into a cave. Hooray! And there's the water. And this, like, super cramped cave that I will not see anything creeping up on me. Especially not a creeper. I'm not a big fan of creepers sneaking up on me. There we go, got the torch there. And here I'm like contemplating a way down. Okay. There we go. Got it. It just drops into what looks like a pit over there, I think it is. And then it just comes down from there. And don't want to get swept down. And of course, there is a cave above me and below me. Which makes the which makes the priority of the cave above me. Because it just does. That's that's what it does. Cuz you don't it's easier to fight off monsters if you can actually see them and they're not jumping you from behind. I can't see up that way. Okay. So I'm going to block the water off here because water in caves is not your friend. Unless, of course, you're putting out a floor full of lava. And then I guess it, it would sort of constitute being your friend. And I just turned it on and I was worried about something attacking me okay and so I'm gonna make this place harder for monsters to jump me by doing that and then that hole I don't nothing should be able to get through nothing's small enough to get through there unless it's a baby slime and then I really don't have to worry about anything and a good friend is gonna show up here in just a second I think yep Mr. Creeper shows up and of course he explodes and he conveniently got rid of that roadblock thing it's gonna be slightly easier to get through there but I decided that on that note I was gonna end the video so yeah this video really ended with a bang if you know what I mean that joke was terrible like really terrible 
and it doesn't really end right there. I like ending videos and such back in my home. So, yeah, I'm Untitled Project 13. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Or, no, dang, we're not ending yet. Yeah, new snow, fresh covering of snow, just looking out at the ocean. Okay, so now I'll see you guys next time.